Rich, right now, this does not look like the same player we saw earlier on in the day. I don't recognize him. He was hitting it all over the ballpark in the first few holes. I, I didn't think there was any chance that he'd be where he is right now. Credit to him. This, this took guts. Yeah, his composure is so different right now. Well, that's the beauty of this game. You stay with it. It's 18 holes. You keep fighting, and you can put a score on the card. Frank, he is one of the longest hitters in the game, but at some point, you have to hit a fairway. Yeah, he's uh, certainly not the straightest. I think that was the bit you're going to put in the middle. This is a good-looking shot. Playing this par four, still not on the green after that second shot. But still not done. Um, a good third shot, maybe get away here with par. Well, bunker play is really about technique and feel. The two greatest ever are probably Gary Player and Seve Ballesteros. Seve actually was so good, he was so skilled that he could open up a three iron. That's right, a three iron on a short bunker shot from a green side bunker and splash it to a couple of feet as if he had just used a 60-degree sandwich. Amazing. He's made it. Frank, 440-yard par 4 11th. You see that number on the card, you think, driver. Maybe not. Why? Yeah, it's imperative you hit the fairway here, Rich. Uh, water obviously in play left. Two bunkers on the right. This is a second shot hole. Long and straight. That's how you do it. Frank, this is just a pleasure to watch. A player hitting on all cylinders at the top of his game. Notice it's just flowing, too. There's not a lot of deep analysis going through his mind. Just one step in front of the other. If your swing's there, you don't have to find it. If your putting stroke's there, you don't have to find it. Just let it happen. off the center and headed to the right. On the green and a chance for birdie. Par yesterday, now for birdie. Speed wasn't bad on that long putt, but the read wasn't very good. Not a gimme, but well within his range. He'll take par and move on. Out of the par 5, 12. Frank, how good of a scoring opportunity is this? Well, anytime you get a par 5 at Bay Hill, got to take advantage of it. Uh, Tom Weisskopf was one of my idols growing up. I love the way he swung. That swing right there reminds me of my own. It looks like Rory McIlroy, Frank, sticking the follow-through. That's beyond long. That is a sensational play right there, and you have to think that the, the little helping breeze gave that a nice boost. He can't be that good. I think that's going to the bunker. 
Looks like it. Getting set for this next shot from the rough, what does the player need to be careful of here, Frank? Well, this is where we're going to see exactly how good they are because, you know, that's not exactly the best lie, but it's sort of doable if you, if you know what you're doing. Well, that's what the great ones do. From the rough, they use their skill and their strength to get it out and get it close. Good putt. Frank, this is an interesting hole. It's a par 4 13th, and it isn't necessarily a driver off the tee. What are the options? Yeah, you break it down. 250 off the tee leaves 120. There's nothing wrong with playing the hole that way. You get a little overambitious here and uh, run out of fairway. That second shot over water. Whoa. Par 4 13, Frank, how do you hit this approach shot? Rich, it's the first par four at Bay Hill where the water is actually on the right of the green, um, and that has to be taken into consideration. Just a little errant shot, and then you're going to be wet. So a little left of the flag, that's where you want to be. Seems to like it. Looks like it's headed for the green. Well, that's how you play the game right there. Knock it on the green and give yourself a good look at birdie. This hole's been good to him. Birdie yesterday, and trying for another one today. Well, that would have been a bonus had it gone in, but still, reasonable chance for par here. Yeah, there's no damage. Uh, you're not going to birdie every hole. Did the job right there. Frank, one of the things I like about Bay Hill is it requires you to hit clean, strong par three. Must fly it onto the green. making the game look very simple right now. See it, hit it, and he's got it right on track. Made a par in his previous round. This time, it's for birdie. Putting on a show, this tournament moves to 15 under par. At the 15th hole now at Bay Hill, this is a massive dogleg, Frank. Yeah, if you're a Bubba Watson-type player and you can move the ball around, you can move it left to right, that'll certainly help the tee shot. Uh, if you're average Joe, though, just hit it down the left. Take your medicine. Oh, that's fine. Frank, in the changing weather conditions, players have so many different options, don't they? Some might like to play it high. Others might want to play it a little lower along the ground. You really got to be on your toes today because of that, Rich. And really, that's what separates the men from the boys, so to speak. Um, you know that any mistake you make can obviously be magnified by, by the wind conditions. But conversely, it's a real good chance for skill to shine. Very solid right there. Eight feet away, well played. Settles in over the putt. Rich, that just adds insult to injury to the rest of the field. Another birdie and the gap even wider. A sensational performance. Frank, this is a great hole late in the round. Par five 
and a chance to really make up some ground or extend the lead. I mean, you can make some things happen here. Shortest of the four par fives and reachable for just about everyone. But really, it's the second shot. The better the tee shot, the easier you make that second shot. Good tee shot, good lie, and now a good chance to take advantage here on this hole. Well, with a good shot here, Rich, uh, this eagle on the cards, hole very reachable from where he is. Don't get many opportunities like this. This is a good place to take advantage. Hazard, maybe wet. That's out of bounds and it'll cost him a shot. Can add up quickly, Frank. This is already his fourth shot. Yeah, time to knuckle down. Really wants to hit one of his better shots right now. Solid play, heart of the green. So a tester from four feet. Just an amazing display. The records continue to fall. Frank, par 317 here at Bay Hill. How difficult is this hole? This one takes your best tee shot, Rich. Otherwise, you're just looking at four or five. Always like this par three, Frank, par three seventeenth. Let me amend that. I like watching the best in the world play it because it can be daunting, especially with the pressure ratcheted up. When they have the tournament on, this green is brick hard. Um, a little bit downhill, that's about the only advantage you get. Here's to be what they call a commercial play, very solid. That is classy. Yeah, a chance of going in. We'll make birdie if this drops. Continues to amaze yet another birdie, and what a day it's been. Frank, this is a stout finishing hole, the 18th, isn't it? Yeah, it finishes that great run of 16, 17, and 18, and so many times we've seen disaster and triumph just on those final three holes. There's something about a well-hit shot. Good contact, good result. Big full swing here, and that's the way you want to finish up here at the 18th hole. Excellent drive and gives himself a good chance to go after this hole location. What a great shot. Right next to the hole. It's about five feet. And getting ready for the putt. Has it. That's birdie. Well, Rich, two rounds in the books, and it's easy to see why the leaders are on top of that leaderboard. Excellent performance, but still a long ways to go in this tournament.